We're here with the Hall of Famer, Terrell Davis, TD, uh, catching up here a little bit, uh, talking about the Broncos. We heard that Javante Williams uh, is on track to be ready for training camp. Yeah, uh, yeah. You know, you know a few things about coming back from a big injury like that. Uh, what advice would you give him? Yeah, I mean, you know, the knee injury is tricky, right? Because nobody wants to be on the field more than we do, but you have to listen to your body. And a lot of times your knee or whatever your, you know, your injury is, is not responding based off whatever the time period is, six to eight months. And you come back, you're like, wait a minute. Like, I know they said it's going to be 100%, but that's not ready. You'd much rather slow roll this thing than to, to try to get back sooner. And then all of a sudden you have a setback and you're not 100%. And there's a mental part of it too, right? You got Then the first time you get hit there, you, you're probably thinking about it a little, right? Yeah, because you have to test it out. You got to go out there and see, you know, you, you think it's hail, but the, the ultimate test is can, can I run through a tackle? Can, I, can someone tug on my knee or pull on my leg while I'm, I'm trying to run through it? And am I being timid? Am I decelerating through, through contact? So once you go through the little steps and you get affirmation, that, okay, it feels good. You know, maybe you have some contact practices or – for me, it was trying to get into a preseason game, and once I did that, and then that was one step, and then the next step is, oh, can I play in a regular season game? And then you, you just kind of you, – you're trying to catch these small wins, and then, you know, ultimately those things are, are giving you the feedback you need to say, okay, it's, it's, it's improving, it's getting better, or it's not improving, and it's not getting better, and uh, just trying to go from there. Uh, the Broncos did bring in another running back, Samaj P. Ryan, just a sort of a bowling ball, big physical yes. kind of guy. Yes. You like a player like that? Uh, yeah, yeah. So Samaj is funny. I met Samaj many, many uh, months ago, years ago actually, and uh, you know we were at doing this rookie thing. It was called um, I forget the name of Game Changers, mm. and so Samaj was one of the backs that we would work with. We would work with guys before they got drafted, and we were doing this drill, and I had a bag, and so he was supposed to block the bag and. He comes up and he just he hits the bag so damn hard, and the bag bust hits me in the face and it's like <laughs> busts my face open, and I remember thinking, man, this dude is like uh, he is he's a big strong running dense. back, man. Like this, yeah, like he's dense. And you remember him at, you know, when he was I think he played at he was Oklahoma, right? Yeah, he had like yep. the he had the singles he broke like 400 yards. He had the <laughs> most ridiculous game ever. So watched him for a very long time, and um, yeah, I like his game. And you compliment that, um, you know, with that power. In the backfield, I think that's that's what Sean Payton. Um, now he's trying to find that little jitterbug guy. I think that's probably the next step. Okay. And the last one for you, uh, TD. I saw you were just down in Mexico for the draft, hanging out. Yeah. I'm surprised yeah. you came back here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. My Spanish is still terrible. But what, I'm working on it. <laughs> what was that experience like? I mean, there's a lot of Broncos fans down there. Yeah, it was huge, man. It's Broncos country, big time in Mexico City and uh, Monterey. And obviously, the goal is to try to in, in, improve or increase the fan base. Uh, internationally, especially in that market, because it's huge. I mean, it's like, I don't know, like 30 million people in Mexico City, maybe more. And if you can get that that fan base, which we saw a really good sign that they follow American football and they they follow the Broncos big time. I don't know if you've seen some of the stuff, but, you know, we walk, we're walking around and people have Bronco uniforms on, little, a lot of 30s, which, mm -hmm. which is really cool. That's um, nice. Very nice, very <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah, no, but it's, it's, it's good to see that um, the connection there. I was there many years ago when we played – the oh, yeah. Dolphins, the American Bowl yeah. back in 1997. I went out there a week, a week before. It was a week, and it was the, we went out there for a week, and then we came back for the game. So I was out there with uh, Zach Thomas, and we were like the ambassadors to try to, you know, do the, the press stuff. And that was fun. That was really great, uh, spend a week in Mexico City. And then to go back is, is really cool. Again, man, I just, I just need to work on my Spanish. That's all. Yeah, That's all. I exactly. said next time I go back, I, I have to, I have to, I got to learn it. All right, TD. Well, great catching up with All you, right. man. I appreciate yeah, good it. Good to see you.